Fáilte chuig rán Gaeilge, your go-to Irish grammar website. Today we're going to take a look at the Heimshire. Finally, we're on to the Heimshire Oshtenach, the future tense. But first, over to Kevin for a few important grammar concepts. Before we dive into the tenses, there are two very important grammar concepts that need to be crystal clear in your mind. So here's a little refresher for you. First up is the Kunzenlahan and Kunzenquail rule. In Irish, a word either has a broad consonant, Kunzenlahan, or a slender consonant, Kunzenquail. It's very easy to tell which is which because a Kunzenlahan will have either an A, O, or U as its last vowel, and a Kunzenquail will have either an I or an E as its last vowel. This is a term that comes up all the time in Irish, so make sure you take a note of it and remember it. Now that you know what the Latin and quail vowels are, we can teach you the golden rule of Irish spelling. I'm sure you've all heard of Latin the Latin, quail the quail, but what does this actually mean? Simply put, the vowel after a consonant must be the same type of vowel, i.e. Latin or quail, as the last vowel before that consonant. For example, if we look at the word adiuct, there is a slender vowel before the D, therefore there is also a slender vowel after the D. In this case, both slender vowels happen to be I. This rule applies to 99% of Irish words, so learn it well. Now back over to Louise. Okay, back to the future. There is no Ahru Tussig in the Amshir Oshtanak, so that's one less thing to worry about. First up is Latin verbs with Shula Awan. Luckily, in the Amshir Oshtanak, you only have to remember two endings for each one. For May, to, she, she, shiv, and sheed, we add F, A, I, D, H to the end of the verb, such as glanhig she, she will clean. Instead of using shin, we add F, A, I, M, I, D to the end of the verb, for example, glanhamid, we will clean. For quail verbs with shola awan, the ending for may, to, she, she, shiv, and sheed is F-I-D-H, like Philhig to, you will return. And instead of using shin, we add F-I-M-I-D to the end of the verb, Philomid, we will return. Next, we'll look at Lahan verbs with Gahyola. When using may, to, she, she, shiv, and sheed, we add o father i d h to the root of the verb, such as kianuig shiv, you will buy. Instead of using shin, we add o father i m i d to the root of the verb, kianuimid, we will buy. When using quail verbs with gahyola, there are different endings to obey the lahan la lahan quail la quail rule. If using may, to, she, she, shiv, or sheed, we add e, o, i, d, h to the root of the verb, like baloig may, I will collect. And instead of using shin, we add e, o, i, m, i, d to the root of the verb, baloamid, we will collect. How do you ask a question in the Armshire Oshinaka, I hear you say? It's easy. To ask a question, we use on or knock, followed by an uru on a kunsen. To answer a question positively, we use the verb in its standard Armshire Oshinak form. And to answer a question negatively, we use ni, followed by a shevu on a kunsen. Agashine.